Well, good morning. How are you doing? Everyone have a nice weekend? It was absolutely beautiful here yesterday. It felt like summer. But today, it's a little bit colder. Why does it keep on changing, hmm? Let's sing. The world is a circle, so let's all join hands. Let's all join hands. Let's all join hands. The world is a circle, so let's all join hands. Let's all join hands. Let's all join hands. All join hands. Nice work. You think we could sing a little bit louder? Maybe if, you, if it's your first time hearing the song, maybe you're just learning it. Try to sing along this time. The world is a circle, so let's all join hands. Let's all join hands. Let's all join hands. The world is a circle, so let's all join hands. Let's all join hands. Let's all join hands. You know the world is just a song. Make up the world. Nice work, everybody. Well, thank you so much for being here with me. This time we're going to clap our hands. Follow along. The world is a circle, so let's all clap hands. Let's all clap hands. Let's all clap hands. The world is a circle, so let's all clap hands. Let's all clap hands. Let's all clap hands. You know the world.
time. I say good morning. One more. I say good morning. All right, so up on your feet, everyone's gonna dance, right? That means you, Scarlet. Up, up, up. Uh, can your can your little sister Nora get up and dance yet? Not yet, eh? So you're gonna have to dance enough for both of them. Uh, Tegan, up on your feet. Let's get up there, Georgia and Carter and Isabel and Penelope. Up and get crazy. Ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. Ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. Ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. Hello, friend. It's good to see you. I know we're gonna have a good day. I'm looking forward to a good time. I say good morning. I say good morning. I say good morning. I say good morning. Right on. Thank you so much for singing and dancing with me. It makes it so much more fun, right? Well, it is a little bit gloomy here in Toronto. What's it like where you're living? What's it like in Elliott Lake right now? Is it sunny? Or is it gloomy as well? I think they're far apart, far enough apart that it could be sunny there and gloomy here. Well, if it is nice where you are, please send the sunshine down here. Because my plants want some sunshine to help them grow. I think we have, uh, we've had enough water over the past week. We need a whole bunch of sun right now. Now maybe you can help me send, uh, help send the sun down here by singing this song with me. I'll start it nice and slow. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? Come on. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. Oh, Mr. Sun likes fast music? Well, let's go a little bit faster then. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? Thank you very much for singing along, but I think we can sing even louder. What do you think? Here we go, all for Mr. Sun. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine? Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for singing along. Shall we do a dancey song here? We're gonna hope that that song works for Mr. Sun. Well, while we're waiting, why don't we shake our sillies out? Sound like a good idea? All right, you know what you're doing, right? And if you don't, just listen to the words. We'll tell you exactly what to do. Maybe you know what to do, but your baby brother or sister doesn't. Maybe you can show them. Because you're being the big brother or sister, you'd be the, the teacher, right? Here we go. You've got to shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Wiggle your waggles away. Right on. Did for your teaching? Great, we can shake even crazier this time. You gotta shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake. Shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. Well done, everybody. But can you clap really loud? You gotta clap, clap, clap your crazies out. Clap, clap, clap your crazies out. Clap, clap, clap your crazies out and wiggle your waggles away. Excellent. Well done. So we've done some shaking and we've done some clapping. What else can we do here? Hmm. Oh, I know. You gotta jump, jump, jump.
jump your jitters out, jump, jump, jump your jitters out, jump, jump, jump your jitters out, wiggle your waggle away. Whoa, that's making my legs hard. Oh, it's making my whole body tired. Oh, is it making you tired? No, just me, eh? Oh, well, let's pretend. You gotta yawn, 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 and we yawn. Oh, yawn, you sleepy zone. Yawn, 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 you sleepy zone. And wiggle your waggles away. I fell asleep briefly, but here we go. We're gonna shake again. Get your hands shaking. You can even get your feet shaking. Here we go. You gotta shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Wiggle your waggle away. One more time. You gotta shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Wiggle your waggle away. And wiggle your waggles away. Right on. Shall we do uh, another song with some dancing in it? We'll do a song where we can dance like some animals. I don't know. So what animals should we dance like? Oh, never mind. I guess we'll do that later. Hello, look at this. Hey, everybody, did you hear the bells? That means Ollie's in the house. But he's not regular Ollie today. Turn around and show them what's on your back. Look at this. <gasps> what is it? My Spider-Man cape. It's a Spider-Man cape. <gasps> that is so cool. Uh, your Auntie Maureen gave that to you in a package. Well, thank you very much for that. Oh, no. Yo, Spider-Man, were you not strong enough to hold on to the backpack? Did you say hello to everyone, superhero? Hello. <laughs> what do we have in here? <gasps> and here's something that your grandma gave to you. So we have a box. And what's inside the box? Hey, great work. You guys know how to open boxes? It can be tricky sometimes, right? But we try and we try again. And then we let gravity do its work. How about this? What song is this? Sunshine. Sunshine song. You guys know this one, right? So let's take a look here at this box. Isn't it beautifully carved out? Isn't that nice? Now you might ask yourself, what is in this box? Is it full of magic? How is it making that sound? Good question, I say. Not quite magic. There's a little, I don't know what we call this thing. It's got a roll with bumps on it. This way, Dolly. It's got a little roll with bumps on it, if you can see there. Boop. And these are uh, little metal rods, and they chime. So as I turn this, which way do we go here? Can you see it turning? Hey, stop pushing me, Dolly. Cool, right? How much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. And what is that? So that was from Grandma. And take a look at this. We got a book. We got this in the mail as well. I guess today is uh, the mailbag day. We got a, fr uh, a book given to us by our new friend Sarah. She made a book. Called, what do frogs eat? Now, why do you think she sent us this book? Because we have a, <laughs> we have a song about a frog, right? So maybe we can do that soon. This is a pretty cool book. Oh, thank you. That's my magic book. Your magic book. Ollie found a magic science fiction book today called Endgame Enigma uh, by James P. Hogan. No, no, I, I remember know. where I got this. This was at Eddie's bookstore down the street. What was it called? Junction Books? I, Junction News Books? I thought, I thought a rocket ship one. Yeah, it's a rocket ship one. 
Uh, we used to go to this bookstore that's no longer open in the junction. Uh, it was uh, just down the street, and it was the craziest bookstore I've ever been in. It was hard to move around in the aisles because books were just absolutely everywhere. But we made good friends with Eddie. He was one of your first bookstore owner friends. And we would go in there, and I would teach Ollie how not to take all the books off the shelves. Uh, it was our winter hangout last winter. And uh, Eddie, and your water. Are you thirsty? Hey, maybe everyone can take a drink with you. Okay, everyone's drinking. Got to stay hydrated. Yeah, Eddie would uh, recommend books, and I would uh, read them. And usually, I would really, really like them. But let's talk about this one right now. What do frogs eat? So in this book, we have a frog and two kiddos. Oh, there's our frog. And we have, uh, here he is in a kitchen. Why is there a frog in a kitchen? Oh, sure. What does he say? Ribbit. Ribbit. Is that funny? And here's the kids. Now, the whole book, I don't want to spoil it too much. But in this book, we learn about what frogs eat, but also what other things eat. They're trying to get them to eat cheese, but what frogs don't eat cheese. One mouse eats cheese. So in this book, there's a... Uh, there's different animals and there's also counting. You go one, two, three, and through the and then at the back, I thought this was really neat. Excuse me, Ollie. Don't sing a song. Okay, I won't sing a song yet. Uh, at the back, there's actually instructions for what to talk about with your toddler or with your preschooler or with your kindergartner. There's all different things that help with speech, and I think that that is really really useful if you uh, maybe it's your first time teaching someone how to speak. It's kind of, uh, it can be a little bit daunting. Yesterday I did something. We, uh, I taught Ollie how to bike on a two-wheel pedal bike. It's the first time I've ever done that. A treaty? What, right now you want a treaty? He's asking for treaties right now. What? No. No? After a show. After the show you want a treaty. What kind of treaty do you want? Maybe after we eat our lunch, right? Because we usually eat our applesauce and banana sandwich, and then we have a drink, and then we get a treaty, right? Sometimes a cookie. Where's Ollie going? He's disappeared. What's happening? Now, we have a frog book here. Do you want to sing a song about a frog with me? He's being awfully silent right now. I'm going to put the book here. We'll put it beside the world so that everyone can see it until it spins around. Hey, Ollie, if you want to go, that's okay. Uh, do you want to say bye-bye to everyone? Bye. I mean, get up on the chair and say bye-bye. They're going to miss you until tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I'm sure they can hear you. Bye. You kind of sound like a ghosty right now, though. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So what did you guys do this weekend? I'll tell you what we did. Uh, because we've been trying to find new interesting things to do, we set up a tent in the living room, like a camping tent. And we told some spooky stories and we stayed up late. And we ate popcorn. It was pretty fun. Uh, let me know if you have any interesting things uh, to do to keep it interesting around here. Um, it's, uh, it's hard not just to do the same thing every day, right? Usually we would go to the park, we would go to Eddie's bookstore before it closed. Uh, we had all kinds of things. We would go to the uh, earlier centers early on for circle time and play time with other kids. What do we do now? So we did some uh, indoor camping this weekend. Let me know if you have anything. Actually, I saw that someone had an art. They, they did some art that I'm going to show in a little bit. But right now, why don't we... Uh, sorry, I forgot to do this. Why don't we do a song about a frog? Sound like a good idea? So frogs live in ponds and swamps. And they're really good swimmers. And they're also really good hoppers, right? So we are going to hop, hop, hop. Why don't you get down? You can put your, your feet are probably already on the ground. Why don't you put your hands on the ground too? Bend those knees so you can get all the way down. And then as high as you can, hop, hop. Whoa! <laughs> Do you think you can hop even higher than that? 
Do you think you can hop from the ground onto the couch? Or maybe you're sitting down eating right now, in which case, don't worry about it. But if you're not eating right now, let's hop around. Here we go. Hoppy little frog. Sarah for the book. That's great. It's amazing. Uh, this is a, a book by two uh, two ladies from Toronto, which is where I am. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can get it online apparently. You can just go to Indigo Chapters and, uh, and buy this puppy online. It's really good. I like it. You can learn about counting, different animals, and what different animals eat. And the kitchen just gets wrecked by the end of it. Ready? All right, we're gonna do a song uh, about some wheels. So do you know how to make some wheels with your hands? We're gonna do this, one over the other, and they're gonna go round and round and round and round. Get them going really fast, ready? Here we go. There we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Right on. Go even faster, here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Great work, everybody. Let's do a really loud one. The horn. The horn on the bus go. Yeah. 
bus, get those wheels spinning. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. One more time. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town, all through the town. All right. Great. Well, that was fun. Um, I want to show you something. Uh, my friend Olivia did some art on the weekend. Now, most of the art I get is done on paper, but not this one. Take a look at this. <gasps> you see what she made? They kind of look like cookies, but these are not for eating. This is called salt dough. <clears throat> and uh, so it is kind of like it's like cookies, but you're not going to want to eat this. It's more for making something that you can keep. So what did she make out of salt dough here? <gasps> Look at that pretty flower in the middle. Isn't that cool? Now, my friend Cleo also asked me to write a song about flowers. So I thought this was appropriate. We'll show Olivia's flower. Nicely done. If you want to learn how to make salt dough, there's, your parents could find the recipe no problem. And all you do is you, you make the shapes that you want, put it in the oven for a bit, it gets really hard, and then you get to paint it. So painting on paper is fun, but you can also paint on salt dough. It's like cookies that stay forever. Uh, let's see here. Whoops. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this. This is from Cleo. Remember last, uh, last week, Cleo said, uh, well, first of all, these are potato prints, so she cut out a potato and dipped it in paint and then printed it like stamps. Look at those flowers. Cleo, nice work. And she said, uh, maybe Liam could write a new song about flowers. Well, I tried last week, and I came up with some stuff, and then over the weekend I came up with something a little bit better. So I'm going to try this brand new song about flowers. What do you think? So thank you so much for the, uh, the inspiration, Cleo. I really, really appreciate it. I came up with a new part this morning. It's still in progress, so I think it's going to change quite a bit. Think about the flowers, flowers, that is. So that's it. We're going to say singing about flowers. Singing about the flowers. Flowers, one more. Singing about flowers, flowers. <clears throat> now let's see if I can remember the words I wrote yesterday. Chrysanthemums, chrysanthemums, resting in their flower beds to the sun, stretch and bend. Colors yellow, blue and red. Colors yellow, blue and red. Right on. Shall we do that chorus again? Talk about the flowers, flowers. Singing about flowers, flowers. Violets, lilies too, open up for me and you. To the sun, stretch and bloom. Colors, orange, purple, blue. Colors, orange, purple, blue. Singing about flowers, flowers. I try that first one again? Let's we'll see if I can stay ahead of the words in my brain here. Chrysanthemums, chrysanthemums, resting in their flower beds. To the sun, stretch and bend. Colors yellow, blue, and red. 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 Sing about flowers. Thank you so much for the inspiration. I think that song is probably going to change uh, as I as the days go by here. But that's the first draft of it. Uh, you might think that I just sit down and try to write a song and then that's the end of it. 
Uh, but the truth is, sometimes a song comes out in a, in a day, but more often than not, it takes days and days and days, and sometimes weeks for it to come all together. Um, why don't we do one more, uh, one of my new songs. This one took, this one took about a month to write. I mean, I started it one day, and then I kept on trying to make it better and better, and I'm kind of happy at where, of where it is right now. This is a song about a dream. And in this dream, I go to space. And I can go anywhere I want in space without a spacesuit or a rocket ship because it's a dream. And that's the fun thing about dreams. This is called Little Sky Dancer. Now, if you want to sing along, you can do this pretty much the whole time. If you sing this, Little Sky Dancer jumping on the stars. Little Sky Dancer jumping on the stars. On singing that while I'm singing other stuff. It kind of sounds cool. Here we go, up to space. I, I go anywhere I want. I, I'm not stuck here anymore. I, doing it circle time at the earlier center. Hmm. But at least we can do it here. We can have our own great big circle time all around the world, right? Well, we're going to go to the moon. So the first thing we're going to do is start uh, clapping our hands. You've got hands. Clap them. Great. And next, we're going to stomp our feet. Stomp, 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 stomp. You can do both at the same time. It's a little bit tricky, eh? Great work, here we go. Excellent. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. Now we're on the moon. How do we make it all the way here so fast? We must have the best technology. But I kind of want to go back to Earth. Do you think we can get there just as fast? Here we go. All the way back to our home planet. Clap your hands. And stomp your feet. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going back to Earth. To take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going back to Earth in five, four, three, two, one. Stop! Right on. Uh, well, now that we're back on Earth, all this 
space travel has made me hungry. I want to eat some lunch. How about you? Yeah? What do you think we should have? Liver and onions? No, thank you. Brussels sprouts? I really like Brussels sprouts. But maybe not for lunch. Maybe we'll have those for dinner. For lunch, why don't we have applesauce and a banana sandwich? Ready? Do you know the words? Because if you do, I want you to sing, sing along. And I want you to sing really loudly. Here we go. Applesauce and a banana sandwich. Applesauce and a banana sandwich. Wrap it up for my lunch in a little package. Applesauce and a banana sandwich. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm feeling kind of funky. Oh, my tummy's crumb. sing really loud. Ready? having a blast out there? I know I am. Unfortunately, we're going to do one more song and then we're going to uh, be back here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. If you haven't subscribed yet, mom and dad, please just hit the subscribe button. I think it's right there. And if you have, thank you very much. Tell your friends. We can make this the biggest circle time on the planet. What do you think? Well, here's one of my favorite songs to sing. And I want you to sing along. I want you to sing nice and loud. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier I want to thank uh, Sarah for sending me this book, What Do Frogs Eat? It's so cool. I have a song about a frog, and she has a book about a frog. Never need, eh? Pretty soon those tadpoles are going to be out, and they'll turn into frogs in the spring and the summer. 
and they'll eat all the flies, right? Frogs don't eat cheese. Never. Here we go, one more time. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, if you have any any requests, please make some art for me. You can get it to me by uh, tagging me on Instagram uh, or sending a message, sending an email. We'll figure it out. Um, thank you so much to everyone for watching and singing and dancing. Thanks to mom and dad for helping us, uh, for letting us have the screen time right. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Au revoir. See you soon. Start blowing. I pray for wind to start blowing.